Hello, this is Death Rider, and welcome back to another Let's Play. <clears throat> Sorry, I am sick, so I may sound a little weird during this episode and probably the next few, possibly even the first ten. I don't know how many I'll do while I'm sick. Hopefully I won't be sick long. Anyway, this quest will be Tower of Courage. I believe it's made by Bullfish and... And flying, maybe it's flying fish. I don't remember. But it's a good thing I'm recording this the way I recorded Isle of a Birth because now when I cough, I can edit that out. Like that. Okay, here we go. For thousands of years, many wars have been waged in the kingdom of Hyrule between the forces of good and evil. At the center of the conflict lies the Triforce and its power. For who's ever touched the golden power would have would have his greatest wish granted. The Dark Lord Ganon tried to obtain this power for himself. But every attempt was thwarted by a courageous boy wielding the evil shattering master sword, ending with Ganon's banishment. Many years passed, Ganon would regain his power to break free, and rose once again from his eternal bonds. He had deceived the royal family and gained entry into the sacred realm. The Triforce was within his grasp when Link, the hero, and Zelda, the princess, confronted him. The fight for the Triforce was fierce, and their power shook the very foundations of the sacred realm. This intense battle caused the Triforce to split and shatter, and scatter. God, made that mistake twice now. Launched across the world beyond the reaches of the Kingdom of Hyrule. With the Triforce lost to the world, Ganon made his escape. Without the golden power, Hyrule Kingdom began to wither and erode into ruin. Zelda and Link set off on their quest to search the world and explore new kingdoms and recover the lost fragments of the Triforce. Go to Juno. Hey, here we are. Wake up, sir. The captain wishes to have a few words with you. And here we are. Ah. A good quest. And, the, of course, one reason why I'm choosing to play this is because I like it. But another reason is because I cannot believe that the hero of Hyrule is on board the ship. Too bad I do not get to see the Master Sword. Uh, the creators of this quest are actually making... What I'm actually not sure is a sequel, because as you saw in the story, the Triforce has been split, split, Link and Zelda are going to these other lands to recover the fragments. Now, this one obviously is of Link here on Juno, but this other quest is of Zelda, so you play as Zelda, and you're on some other land. So, it could be a sequel, or it could just be a simultaneous thing, like Zelda's out there doing that right now, while Link is doing this. Oh, it's very dangerous, okay. So here we go. Come in, sit down. I called you in here to discuss where we should be headed next. Since the last few places we stopped at had no sign of the Triforce or any clue to its whereabouts. Hmm, Juno, huh? I heard a lot about that place on my seagoing travels. One interesting story that I heard about was the main city was destroyed by a volcano a century ago. But since then, they rebuilt the city in a new location. So you think that the Triforce could be there? Then we will change course to Juno. Oh, one more interesting tidbit of information. There was a tower that no man <laughs> can see or reach the top of. I also heard that the tower holds a powerful demon. It was sealed by a mysterious warrior wielding a sword with, with mystical energy, much like the Master Sword. I would not mind going to Juno, seeing it for myself. Alright. We were under attack. Pirates off the port side. Brace for impact. And boom. I like that. Just all of a sudden there's fire. And ruin. 
Hey, bombs. And you know the funny thing about these bombs? They're infinite spawning. <laughs> so this is our weapon at the moment. Bombs, until we get our sword. Might as well be at full, full, uh, full 10. Ropes. Bombs hurt, by the way, so... Shoot. There we go, two for- ooh, nice. Oh. Yeah, funny thing, you open that chest and they all open. Cause that's how that works. Anyway. There are some aspects about this quest that kind of make you feel like it's an amateurish. But by no means... Oh, wow, it went right through the chest. That's not to say that I think that about this quest. It's a very good quest. I love this quest. Oh, jeez. Problems, problems. Even more problems. Stay away. Okay, you stay coming at me. Thank you. Uh, so I think you do this. So it's not like that then. Yeah, it's been a while since I played this. Well, great, I think I screwed myself over. No, I didn't. Ooh, I still might have. No, I didn't. Ugh. There we go. First try. There we go. Hey, my shield. I've got to be careful here. I don't care to die this early on. That is indeed my sword, by the way. There we go. Ah, yes, I actually didn't remember if that was what that is, or if that, you know what I mean. Also, I have a magic, uh, fire extinguishing sword. Little prize for saving him. So I'm thinking like I all over birth. Whoa, hold on a minute. Did the do the fires? Ah, do the fires. Does the fire count as enemies? It does. The fire counts as enemies. Okay. Anyway, I'll be keeping these episodes like I did with Isle of Rebirth, uh, around 20 minutes. So, just a good thing to know, I guess. And the only reason why I do 20 minutes and not, like, 10, 10 is because 10, you can't really get all that much done. Especially in a quest like this when you've got pretty large dungeons, which there are some. Eh, might as well stock up. There we go. Can't really pass up free, uh, free bombs. Free infinite bombs, might I add. That ah, crap. Here we go. Boss time. No, I wanted that money. Yeah, I dealt with the pirates. Didn't get the money for it. Go to the ruins to the far west. Said some unknown force. <laughs> you, we'll find out later on. 
All right, here at Juno. From the reports we received, the monsters have become more aggressive lately around Juno. So be careful. On, uh, on another note, with all the damage caused to the, by those pirates, we are going to be here for a few weeks, repairing the ship. And here it is, a nice, nice little intro here. Freaky Fish Productions, Tower of Courage. They probably should have did something better with the Legend of, because you couldn't even really read that. Yep, and a nice little healing spot. I'm actually not sure if there is something here. Well, I can find out. Yeah, yeah I have bombs. Might as well check it out. Ooh, this game. Eesh. Don't even bother. Don't even bother going into that yet. Also, just to let you know, I will be leaving links in the description as to this quest, which I try to always do with all the games I play that can be found in a download link. So if you want to follow along with me, then cool. You can. Hello, dearie. Forest of Illusion. Not to be confused with that forest from uh, Flow of Time. So now what I want in here, I cannot yet buy. Yeah, 200. Magical shield right away. So... It's actually pretty nice. The ruins of old Juno to the west. That is an important detail. Ooh, we got a bad problem in here. I don't remember if I can actually get this yet. Oh, I can, okay. Cool. Nice. Actually pretty useful this early on. You can press A at the signs to read them. Yeah, just your typical tutorial stuff. Okay, we've got actual area over there. And I want to say the music for this quest, I love it. I love the music for this quest. Almost all of the... Almost all the music, actually. Like, all of the dungeons, the areas. Honestly, this theme you're hearing right now, I feel, is, is the blandest. But all the other ones are good, especially this one. Tower of Courage. For those of you who play Castlevania, you'll know this music. Bloody Tears from... Super Castlevania, I think? Castlevania 4. So yeah, there's actually nothing we can do here yet. Uh, I don't want to go that way. So the way... Okay, yes, he, he kind of... Ex this guy here explains uh, the tower a little bit. So the way this tower works is it's basically a tower of backtracking in, in, of sorts. So after every dun the way the game wants you to do it is after every floor, uh, ah, sorry, after every dungeon, you'll come back here. So first floor. So the game will want me to come here after I beat level one. Yes, and after you complete every floor, you do get a really nice item. I think all the items are required. They may not be. I mean, I may have forgotten that. Maybe they're optional. So, yeah, you can't proceed until you get the item out of level 1. And then that it just progresses 2, 3, 4, all the way to 8, I believe. Oh, I gotta sit through this dialogue again. But the good part is... <clears throat> You'll notice that I could have gone left. Ah. So if you go left that way, and I think also if you go right that way, there's a series of portals where you could teleport to the last floor you beat. So when you beat a floor, you'll hit a switch that'll allow you to unlock a portal. Uh, so you won't have to like climb through every single floor. Yeah, and this guy also explains things a little bit. 
One star fell over the ruins. You know, I've played, I've actually beaten this quest a couple of times and I, I don't remember what star. Oh, am I stupid? I think I'm stupid. He, he means the Triforce. Ugh. I, maybe I did know that and I just forgot right now. I don't know, I feel kind of dumb about that. So this episode would be boring without a little bit of exploration. I will do that with the remaining roughly three minutes. As I mentioned, I'll try to keep these to about about uh, 20 minutes. Should be plenty of time to get something done in every episode. There's actually a thing over here. I'm not 100% sure if I could do anything about it. But you can actually walk behind trees in this quest. And then, yeah, you can get to this. Now this I actually didn't, last time I played this, I didn't know about this until way later. So obviously you can't do anything yet, but. But yeah, that's there. And then you may see, it might be hard to see, but behind that bottom light, lighter colored tree, there's a staircase. That's how you get... Actually, that's not how you get to the chest, that's a separate thing. Ooh, I want that. So, I don't think there's anything I can do up here. Warning. Now entering the outskirts of the forest. The forced of illusions going to the far... Going far into the forest may result in encountering very strong monsters. The sign ain't kidding, by the way. And look at that, a like like. First of all, it's a like like on the overworld, and second of all, in the opening areas. But yeah, the Force of Illusion, to a fairy. I think I remember there being something here. Oh! Yeah, it's pretty important. And. I, I say that sarcastically. It is actually very important. Yeah, I'm not even gonna go up there. Uh, I could have gone to the right, and that's not the forest, but there's no point. Oh, that's right. Fire doesn't hurt. So actually, I almost have enough for my shield. So I'll just complete this episode with exploration and then the next episode will be more exploration and probably entering level one I would assume yeah not really anything here it's, I'm just kind of map completing a little bit map completing where it is re relevant I guess Another enemy you don't often see on the on the overworld of Gariah. Kind of annoying, but can be dealt with pretty easily. So that cave right there, man, I could not get that act right. That cave right there is actually the entrance to level one. So I shall not be going in there. And in fact, I'm actually gonna end this episode here. Just gonna head back to Juno. Uh, well, the town of Juno. And, uh, hold on a minute. That's right, okay. I didn't remember if there was like a base level bracelet or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's all I have for this episode. Uh, in the next episode, I will be doing more exp exploration and I might even enter level one. I don't know. There really isn't that much. I'd probably just say that much, maybe. And then that's basically it. So I'll probably end up being at level one. Probably halfway through the next episode. But anyway, uh, until then, this has been Death Rider, And I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.